You all right, baby? Yeah. I'm fine, sorry. It's the third nightmare this week. The masked man took Jaden. So it was the same man. Well, babe, I don't know what to do with him. Because it's getting worse. I had my son taken from me. It doesn't get better. You mean our son? Okay, I was messed up about it, too. We got him back. You it's were okay. out of town. Yeah, I was out of town. Working. So I can provide all of this for you. I... I forgot I'm supposed to thank you. Reese, babe. Reese, come on. You know that's not what I meant. It's what you said. Good night. In this upscale area of Phoenix, the FBI is investigating a bank robbery and the subsequent murders of the bank vice president. Husband and wife? That's scary. Probably some drugs involved, you know, some money laundering shit, <laughs> some freaky sex games or something. People just don't get killed randomly, baby. You don't know that. Yeah, I do. It's called karma. You get what you got coming to you. I don't believe in karma. Anyway, the food's ready. When you come late to the table, the kids think they can do it, too. What's up, baby? Give me, like, five more minutes. Plus, I'm here trying to look good for you anyway. You want me to stop? Why don't you come give me a kiss? No. It'll taste sweaty. Sweat tastes good. Breakfast is on the table. Five more minutes. The food is hot now, and I asked you not to come outside in your bra. <sighs> Mom, it's a workout top. And who's gonna see me? I see you, and I'm asking you to change. on these games. It's fun. Fire truck. Oh, crap. Not again. Oh, yeah. Oh. Nice. <laughs> We could have a nice morning if I didn't have to chase everybody around. It's disrespectful. Baby, nobody's disrespecting me. Jaden, stop. Come on, relax. You're just having fun, ain't that right, little man? He can have fun and still listen to me. Uh, Jaden, all right, that's enough, man. Come on, eat your waffles. Oh, my God. Every day. I'm coming. We'll make it. You are not wearing that to school. You're ridiculous. You make us move out here. I never see my friends. And now I can't even wear this? Your mouth is getting ridiculous. I'm the mother here. You're not even my real mom.
Like it or not, I've been your mother since you were two. Whatever. You want to hide from life? That is your problem. It's not mine. I'm walking to the garage, and this masked man, he jumps into the car and takes off with Jaden. That's that vulnerability. Fear of strange places, fear of strangers. And I'm tired of it. Good. I always feel so scattered after these dreams. <sighs> Allie yelled at me. Why did she yell at you? She had a half shirt on. I told her to change it. She said I made them move from the city. Uh, I, uh... She made it a point to tell me that I'm not her real mom. She's 16 years old. Most girls that age are always raging at their moms. I've been her mom for 14 years. She knows that. And so do you. To never know her biological mom, it hurts her. Yeah, I know. Still, it's like a knife in my chest when she says I'm not her real mom. She's a teenager. She wants to hurt you. So, what about Walt? The sex. Um, he's busy. Everything's fine. Is it? What does everyone want from me? I had my son taken from me, and I am dealing with that the best I can. That was six years ago, and you got him back. Are you saying my fear has a statute of limitations? No, I'm not. What I'm saying is we have to work on letting go. You know this. Letting go. My son was stolen from me. I'm not letting that happen again. So if people think I'm too intense, then so be it. Hi, Clarice. Hey. I'm back. <laughs> you know you have support here. Thanks. See you later. Yeah. Morning, Doris. Good morning, Clarice. This is Lauren. Welcome, Lauren. Hey, Clarice. Um, thanks for doing all of this for us. Of course. So I was just explaining to Lauren about our confidentiality policy. How we're not allowed to let anyone know that she's actually here. However, we do recommend that you let the authorities know about these incidents. No. No cops. I, I just need things to calm down. You know, my man is a good guy. It's just... He was upset and shit, you know, he just gotta, he has his moments. No, that's your prerogative. We're only gonna talk about the options that we have available to you. Doris, we have a situation. We need you. Oh, God, okay. She just. She just barged in yelling for help. I saw the blood, so I came to get you guys. Call an ambulance. No! No doctors, no cops. He'll... He'll find me that way. Sandy, get me the first aid kit. Oh, God. I'm so sorry about all the blood on the floor. The floor can be washed. We need to get you cleaned up. I 
punched my hand through the window to smash his fucking face in, and I... God damn it, I missed. Where's that first aid kit? Coming, I have it. Um, do you think I could maybe stay here a little while? Yeah, of course. This is your safe place. This is home. <laughs> Always wanted a home. And we'll keep the boogeyman away. <laughs> yeah, right. What's so funny? Uh, my guy? would kick the boogeyman's ass. Feel better? I feel safe. Cuts and bruises I'm used to. Girl, you and me sing the same song. My name's Clarice, and today's topic is hope. Cherry, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us if you care to share the situation that brought you here? Uh, I'm Cherry Redvine. My boyfriend, Billy, calls me Blossom. And I got lots of reasons to be here. Why are you here, Clarice? I'm the group facilitator. Yeah, no shit, I, I get that. But do you have problems with your man? I've been married for 14 years. Walt's great. Oh, does Walt hit you, or did he? Did a old boyfriend used to? No. Well, congratulations on a normie husband and a perfect wife. Just wow. But if you don't have any experience with bad boys, then how the fuck are you going to help us? Learned experience. I'm completing my master's. Oh, so we're test subjects. Hey, can you just lay off? Okay, Clarice seems like a really nice person. I don't know why you're giving her crap, bitch. Bitch? Yeah, you heard me. Bitch. Yeah, bitch. I want to share, too. We all got issues. What the, what the fuck is going on? Hey, oh, uh, okay, ladies, uh-uh. No names. Okay. I mean, don't you ever want to live a little? Excuse me? One man, 14 years of the same Dick. Now that is safe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cheers. Met an interesting woman today. She was spunky. Kind of charming. Self-confident. Angry. Not like the others. Haven't been able to place her yet. Baby, you're spunky. Very charming. <laughs> Sexy as hell. 
Moi? Yeah. Sexy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm talking about you. God damn it! When are the painters coming back? Next week, baby. They'll finish it. Can we finish the sexy? Next week. When are things going to get back to normal around here? Soon, I hope. I'm sorry for putting you on the spot the other day. I'm in a bad place. Things will turn around. Yeah. Just like my daddy always used to say, just keep looking on the bright side. There you go. He was an alcoholic who died a violent death. So yeah, he was always looking on the bright side of things. I'm so sorry, Cherry. Sometimes the people closest to us, they hurt us the most. Yeah. My daddy hurt us. He, uh, beat my mom so bad once she got blood on the brain. She died a week later. I am so sorry. Don't be. Motherfucker went to prison and when he got out, he got knifed right outside of a bar. That's karma for you. Fucking monsters deserve to be destroyed. Yeah, but sometimes people do have the capacity to change. Yeah, and you didn't fucking know him. Do you have something against me? Yeah, actually I do. Why? I don't know. Women like you annoy the shit out of me. Life is just, just passing you by. You're just coasting. I mean, nothing is, is, is challenging. Okay, strong women are not born with a silver spoon in their mouth. You don't know me like that. Hey, one in East East office. Come on, Cherry. Let's go. This fucking bullshit. You let him kick you out of your own office. It's not my office. I'm working on my credential hours. You let them dictate who you are. Who are you, Clarice? What are your secrets? My secrets. Uh, my son, Jaden, is borderline autistic. Six years ago, I was coming from the dry cleaners and uh, Jaden was in the back seat. I went to take the clothes inside of the car and my SUV was jacked. Just like that. The next few hours were terrifying. Later that day, they found my car and luckily Jaden was still inside. They never found the man who took my baby. You weren't traumatized? Oh, I was a train wreck. I couldn't be separated from Allie or Jaden. I still can't. Then the nightmare started. You still have those? Yeah. And this happened six years ago. Six years ago. My trauma happens fucking daily. Cherry, fuck. I'm not comparing my trauma to your trauma. 
trauma is still trauma, no matter the perspective or privilege. You have to be open to change. You have to learn to trust others. Honestly, from the moment I met you, Clarice, I said to myself, this person is going to be good for me. Not everybody is out to get you, Cherry. Ditto, Clarice. Ditto. so distracted lately. You know you can tell me anything. No need to worry about that. You're late. Got a new client. So we went out for drinks. I've asked you to call me so I don't sit here worrying. You know my mind races when I don't hear from you. Sorry. I apologize. You smell like beer. And perfume. Maybe I was at the Highland. It's crowded, okay? I'm sorry. Go take a shower. I thought about you today. About us. In bed. I just want you to know I'm thinking about it. Okay. I'm gonna shower. gonna come me up. Uh, Billy? You're Billy. He's a fucking psycho. He knows you're here. He's gonna kill you in your sleep. He's evil. Shit. Fuck you. He knows where I am. Uh, look, I'm... I'm safer at home. I, I gotta get out of here, but... Clarice. Cherry's gone. Lauren left too. What happened? Cherry's boyfriend threatened Lauren. He said he was gonna kill her. Billy found her. Yeah. 
We called the sheriff right away. She gave Doris this note. Thanks for your help, Clarice. I'll miss you, your friend, Cherry. Hey, you really connected with her, Clarice. That's all we can really do. Yeah. <laughs> I can see you shaking. Uh, uh, that girl, Cherry, that I was helping, she left the show. Oh. Why she leave? I don't know. It's complicated. I mean, isn't this kind of thing expected, though? girl is unstable. Baby, I mean, those women are so traumatized. I'm sure they have all types of mental issues and stuff. Cherry thanked me. She said I helped her. Good. You did good, baby. You brought some light into this crazy world. I really don't know anymore. Come on. Come on. I need you to get ready. Remember, I got that business luncheon I told you about? All my wealthiest clients are gonna be there, baby. It's gonna be very important for us. So come on, I need you. Give me a minute. Okay. We get ready, though. How do I look? Good. I bet she won't go. Don't say that, because she's be really doing good. Look, Mom, I can do the crab walk. No, Jaden, don't. <sighs> Damn it. You all right, baby? I don't want to go. No, man, you could just go get another pair of shoes. I don't have another pair of shoes to match this dress. Mom, I have shoes. They're not my style. I, I don't want to go. No, 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 baby, just go get another dress. Kids, can you give your dad and I a second? Listen. Babe, I already told you how important this is for us. I need you by my side. We don't even have a babysitter. Allie is 16. She can handle it. Jaden's a handful. You can go. Please, just be understanding. I've been fucking understanding, all right? And I've been patient. I'm sick of this shit. I am not helping anybody, and I'm not getting better. I am actually scared. And what are you scared of? Every damn thing. My family has no faith in me. 
You know, I'm supposed to be the strong one. But I'm the one who needs all the baby. Clarice, you're putting way too much pressure on yourself. You're a mother. You're a wife. You're a therapist. You're enough. Actually, I'm not. I'm not. Walt is, um... Walt's going to leave me. I bailed on his business lunch a few hours ago. Why did you bail? Like I said, I am scared of everything. My heel broke. We had no babysitter. I panicked. Walt loves you. No matter how difficult it is to navigate this trauma, Walt loves you. You know that. Some nights he comes home smelling like alcohol and perfume. He says he's networking, but I'm not stupid. I know there's someone. But I can't confront him. What if he leaves? I try and look at this big picture. You're afraid Walt is going to leave. Yet by being weak, you were pushing him away. Assertiveness is a very attractive state, Clarice. You have to find the warrior within you. I can't. Yes, you can. We have to find something in you to make that happen. You forgot your backpack. <laughs> Give me back my phone, jerk! Jaden, not in the parking lot. I'll kill you. He's just teasing you. She's got a crush on Jane. <laughs> okay, enough, both of you. <laughs> hey, Jaden, what's on your shoe? Gotcha. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. Why don't you kiss her? Jaden. I'll kill him. He's just a kid. Everything seems funny to him. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Uh, excuse me, sir? Hi, um, I'm desperate to scrape together some funds for a bus trip home. I really don't need much. Cherry? Uh, hey. Uh, hey, Clarice. Funny running into you at my place of business. How are you doing? Who's this? Uh, this is my friend, Cherry. Uh, Cherry, this is my daughter, Allie, and that's Jaden over there. Hey, guys. <laughs> See, you got a feisty one here. God, I'm, I'm so embarrassed that you had to see me begging. <laughs> you could have asked me. Hmm. You want to be my sugar daddy? <laughs> I, 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 I'm... I'm really just trying to scrape together a hundred bucks for a bus ticket to go back to Mississippi. It's where my sister lives. Mom, come on, let's go. I'm so sorry. Thank you for trying to help. Trying to help. <sighs> Take it. Here. No. Keep it. I will mail you the money back. I promise. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. Oh, man. You're so <laughs> silly. Oh, my gosh. Mmm. This looks good. Well, give me one. I don't need this. Yeah. Can you play? So guess what? What? I got a B on my math test. And okay. Mr. Reeves said if I keep it up, I'll be in advanced placement classes next year. A B? Mm -hmm. I thought you said you studied for that test. I did. Not enough. You can do better. Come on. I think advanced placement will be good for you, young lady. Mm -hmm. You know? Another challenge. 
right? Mom gave a hobo a hundred bucks. <laughs> what? Jigadin. What? what? <laughs> She's not a hobo, and that's not a good word to use. She's struggling. Huh. Yeah. A struggling hobo. <laughs> Allie! <laughs> <laughs> Allie, stop it. Let's say Grace. All right, my Lord, thank you for our food. Thank you for our family and for our blessings. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Amen. It was Cherry. You mean the woman from the shelter? Mm-hmm. She has a sister in Mississippi. She wants to go there for a fresh start. Okay. I guess it was nice that you was able to help her with some cash then, right? I wish I could do more. She seems like she has a ton of potential. Mom, she was manipulating you. She's a user and she got your money. Mm. Allie, no. No, you have to learn to trust people and see their good sides. They have a good side. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't do your mama like that. Hey, excuse me, sir. Look, I'm desperate for a bus ticket. I, I, I really, I just, hey, just help a girl out. Hey, hey. Are you kidding? Look at me. Come on, just look at a little, so, come on, fuck. Really? Hey, Blossom, you miss me? I miss you, Blossom. <laughs> you were never gonna get away from me. I can't do this anymore. No one will ever know. Trust me. I do trust you. Amy, you're amazing. I just... I can't do this anymore. But it's our secret. I promise. It's wrong. A married man. You were married when this started. Do you want me to tell her about us? If you feel that's what you need to do, Amy, you go right ahead. But my wife is going through a very difficult time. And what we're doing, I'm only making it worse. So if you feel you need to tell her, you do that. I just hope we can still make it through counseling. I don't want to hurt you, Walt. I don't want to hurt you either. You really think I'm amazing? You know I do. <laughs> <laughs> He's fast, right? Yeah. Coming. Cherry? Can you help me? Oh my gosh, come on. Uh, uh, thank you. She's bleeding. Jaden, get the bandages. Bandages? Yes. Bandages. 
I'm so sorry, Clarice. I had nowhere else to go. Uh -huh. uh. We've got to get you to a hospital. No. No, he'll find me there. Did he follow you here? <clears throat> no. No, I ran. God. He's going to kill me. I, I have nowhere else to go. I, I asked that uh, the waitress. She knew where you lived. Don't worry. I'll take care of you, okay? You're the only one who cares. You're mine. Thank you, honey. Go play in your room, okay? Okay. She'll be fine, honey. Oh, God. I can see this. Jaden, honey, can you get my phone? Jaden! Hello? Hey, Mom, I'm in the ER. What? I fell at practice. Oh, my God, are you okay? That was Allie. She fell at gymnastics. She's at the hospital. I've got to go. Okay, well, can, can I help? Jaden, where are you? Jaden, mommy's got to go. Jaden, mommy has to go. Oh, please, calm down. What's going on? Jaden's hiding. He loves to hide. Oh, okay, well, I'll stay. I won't let nothing happen to him. I don't know. Come on, have a little faith. He's a big boy. I got you. Jaden, mommy's gonna go. Cherry's gonna stay. Jaden. Hey, Jaden. Cheating Jerry, go fish. I am cheating like hell, heck. I'm cheating like heck. Thank you. Allie, come say a proper hello. Thanks for taking care of my bro. How's the eye, love? Sore than hell. I mean, heck. <laughs> well, you should really put some ice on it. And it'll turn black and blue fast. Trust me, I have a little bit of experience with that. But hey, we can heal together. Sounds great. Let's go. You have such a beautiful family. Yeah. So, what's the deal with Allie? Is she a... The stepdaughter? She's adopted. Walt had a short engagement and she'd already had a baby. Then she died in a car accident and I've been Allie's mother since she was two. Wow. Yep. She is so lucky to have you guys. Yeah, she is. But I'm sure that must be tough on Allie too, though. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get my phone. Hey. Hey, is Allie all right? 
Yeah, bad landing during a backflip. Cut under her eye. She's okay. All right, I'm right around the corner. I'll be there soon. I'll see you when you get here. Hey. Hey. You're early. Great. Yeah. I was worried about Ellie. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you too, of course. See, you got some child care help out there, huh? Yeah, that's Cherry. She's great, isn't she? Yeah, she's great. She's beat the hell up. Do you think that's a good influence for our kids to be around? I think she's having a rough time. I think my help might be the bump she needs to rise above it. But who did that to her face? Do you think he's going to come in looking for her? No. No, he didn't follow her here. How would he know where we live? She's in need. So am I. Well, I need to do this. Yeah. I know everybody's hungry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's nice. This is looking so good. Wow, so cool that Walt helps you with dinner, Clarice. You're lucky. Huh. Sounds like somebody hit the mother load. Uh, let's say Grace. Yeah. Uh, can I? <sighs> Lord above, thank you for placing me with this great family. I've always wanted to know what a home felt like and now I know. Amen. 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 All right. I know you want a biscuit. Give him the biscuits. Give him the biscuits. <laughs> there you are. Thank you. I'll take one of these. to gush on Grace. Um, just look at me. I have great food in front of me and a great roof over my head, and I get to share it with such nice people. Yes, you have to stay positive. Always. That's what I'm learning from you, Clarice. Eat. Okay, baby, what's up? I need you to tell me what the plan is with your little charity case. Her sister's in Mississippi. I offered to take her to the bus station, but she doesn't want her sister seeing her beat up. Baby, that girl don't seem much ashamed about anything. These women are good at hiding how much it hurts. It's not just the physical pain, it's emotional, mental. I understand, but like I said, baby, what is the plan? She asked if we could put her in a hotel until she heals. Are you sure this girl isn't manipulating you, baby? <sighs> when I am scared and afraid to leave the house, you tell me to talk to my therapist, but when I step out of my shell and I help somebody, you imply I'm being manipulated. Baby, come on. You know that's not what I meant. Reese. Where's Allie? She's in the shower. She said I could crash here. 
<laughs> She's a great kid to everybody who's not her mom. You know, Walt, he thinks I'm weak. It pisses me off. Listen, I know you might think I'm this wild, uneducated woman, but I, I know people. And you, you've got this fire, this, this, this fight inside you, and I, I see it. You do? I just want to say I'm sorry for everything. Cherry's staying with us for a week until our eye clears up, and then I'm taking her to the bus station. You're an early riser. <laughs> Guys, come on, breakfast. Good luck. They never listen. You sure about that? Come on, man. Oh, wow. This looks good, Cherry. And a healthy smoothie for the man of the house. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it looks great. What? Okay, I retire. <laughs> Jaden. Jaden, stop that, please. Jaden, stop. Don't show your mom disrespect. She asked you to stop. You guys should really appreciate your mom. She is an amazing woman. <laughs> and she loves you all so much. Now let's eat. I don't want anyone to be late. Yes. Okay. Hey, let me call you right back. Okay. Guess what? I found Cherry. Cherry? Really? Mm-hmm. Where? Billy beat her up again, and she's staying with us until she heals. He beat her up again. Yeah. Wait, she's staying with you at your house? Yeah. Mm, I don't know how I feel about that, Clarice. You're dealing with a very violent, dangerous man. You're putting yourself and your family in danger. Are you saying I'm not capable of taking care of my own family? I'm not saying all of that. What I'm saying is we all know what Billy is capable of. He choked Lauren. Cherry is afraid and in need. And I stepped up. And I applaud that. OK, but that still does not mean that you opened up your home to the girls. I'm not you, Doris. No, you're not, Clarice. And all the women here love you. But that still does not mean that you invite them into your safe place. What were you thinking? You know what? I quit. Clarice. Clarice! I care about you! Really? Should I play? 
Hi, Sheriff. This is Doris, the director of the Woodland Hill Shelter. You actually came by the other day about the guy who choked one of my residents. Yes, of course. How can I help you, Doris? One of my employees, her name is Clarice Spencer. She took in one of our better women. The young lady's name is Cherry Redmine. Okay. And you think this, her batter and my finest, Cherry and Mrs. Spencer's home? He was the one that was violent with my girls, and he threatened to kill Cherry. I'm very concerned. <clears throat> All right. Putting her home on my route now. Thank you, Doris. Hello. Oh, hi. You're home early. Yeah. I just quit. Good. It's about time you stood up for yourself. Oh, it feels weird. I shouldn't have done that. It's irresponsible. Once a good girl, always a good girl. That's who I am. Yeah, but, I mean, when is the last time that you bucked the system? It feels good, right? <laughs> A little. Yeah. <laughs> Do people take advantage of you, Clarice? Yeah. Even though you always do the right thing. Then screw them. Right. Right. Screw them. Screw them. <laughs> <sighs> oh, yeah. Well, you know, I was just out here trying to seduce all these neighbors of yours. What neighbors? <laughs> you are fearless. I admire that. You should try it with me. You and I being fearless together, giving zero fucks. It must be very liberating. What, what are you most afraid of? Losing my family. You are not gonna lose your family. Say it. I'm not going to lose my family. The day that you actually believe that, you'll be free of that fear. Thank you. I'll work on that. Well, the work can start today. Go get a bikini and take off your fucking top and get in here. Uh. Mm. I'll go get a bikini, but I'm leaving my top on. Woo! Baby steps. Baby steps. Baby steps. Baby steps. How you doing, Miss Spencer? Ma'am? Sheriff Clay. What brings you around here? Doing my day's rounds. Hope all is well around here. Well, everything is peaceful, as you can see. Indeed it is. Ma'am, have a good day. I mean it. I mean, no one has ever shown me love like you before. I, I, I really appreciate it. You've had an effect on me, too. You know, just a little bit more wine, and I think you and I should just go film on Louise in the whole fucking world. 
I had some wine. I went to the bedroom. It was incredible. That's great. It's been a long time. It's terrific. <laughs> this cherry seems to be a positive influence. She's helping you get past your fears. Yeah. Yeah, I got some of my mojo back. Not so many nightmares. I don't feel so helpless. Good. Just be weary. All right? When we base our happiness on an emotion or another person, we sometimes leave ourselves open to let down. I know she'll be leaving. I do. Yeah. Well, she may have kick-started the new you, but this is you, Clarice. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like I used to feel back before Jaden was taken from me. Good. This is you. You did the work. You made the progress, not her, you. <laughs> Remember that. Yeah. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm reminding you of the merger meeting in Phoenix tomorrow. You're on a plane tonight, and I booked you into a hotel. Yeah. I could meet you there, if you want. Uh, separate planes, of course. <sighs> Cancel my flights. Going home with my wife. You were Clarice, and I, I, I was just trying to. She said that I could shower while she went shopping. Uh, can I have a little privacy, please? So now I'm getting kicked out of my own damn shower? Put them on the counter. Okay, Mom. What are you doing home? You know I just walked in on that woman in my shower. What? Yeah. I thought she was you. Uh, I think he was disappointed. He was hoping to see you. Yeah. I was. Well, I guess everybody makes mistakes. 
Uh, Cherry, can you take the kids out for a sec so that Walt and I can talk? Yeah, sure. Let me just uh, throw on some clothes and I'll take them out. Hey, guys, you want to go play? Yeah. Come on, Jacob. I know. Can we just talk? Yeah. Okay. Baby, I'm serious. I I'm so embarrassed. I really thought she was you, okay? I know. Uh, don't worry about that. I actually need to talk to you about something I did wrong. I lied to you. Well, I didn't lie. I just didn't tell you everything about Cherry. Oh, okay. She left the shelter because of her boyfriend. He choked another woman there named Lauren and he threatened to kill Cherry too. What? Shit, baby. Why you didn't tell me that in the first place? I was making real strides there. I thought if you knew how dangerous the men were, you wouldn't want me working there anymore. Wait, whoa, whoa, hold on. So, you telling me there's a crazy psychopath killer after this woman and she's been staying in our house? I'm sorry. I apologize. We've been doing better, and I don't want any secrets. Well, I, I got something I need to tell you, too. Well, seeing somebody else. <sighs> but it's already over. I broke it off, OK? I swear to God. I'm sorry, baby, and, and, and it, it, it means nothing. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Yeah. You're sorry? What, what the fuck? Maybe it didn't mean anything. It didn't mean anything. No. Oh, it means something. It, it means everything. <gasps> God damn it. <gasps> no, don't. No. No, don't you touch me. Don't you say anything to me. I don't want to see you. You just go. Leave. Well, when I met you, you were a grieving man with an orphan baby. I put this entire family on my back. How could you? Business thing. See you. We're gonna make tater tots and hot dogs. Yes. All right. Come on, Jamie. Let's go, Allie.
Walt, he's cheating on me. What? I, I, I'm sorry. He said it's over, but I can't trust him. I mean, what the fuck? I chased him away. All my fears, all my, I did, I did this. No, 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 no. Um. Okay, um, look, no marriage is perfect. And he messed up. I mean, he, he made a mistake, a huge fucking mistake, but Clarice, that man, he loves you. I can see it in his eyes. I'm so, I'm so mad right now. But I don't want the kids to know. Not yet. My heart has been ripped out of my chest. My perfect life. Look, I have been hurt so many times, but the pain is temporary. I promise it makes you stronger. You realize that there is no one else. But you know what, Clarice? You can be a beautiful, badass butterfly. You just gotta bust out of the Ross, <laughs> you've been a bad girl. You're coming with me. Oh. Spencer? Someone broke into my house. Are they still inside? No, he left. Very good, good. Okay, do me a favor, go back inside. I'm gonna clear the area and be in and talk to you, okay? Okay. Two of them fired a dispatch. Show me out on scene with the subject. I'll advise on further. It took him 15 minutes to get here. Better late than never. Was that your old boyfriend? I'll learn from my mistakes, become a nun. Men are not worth it. He's gone. Gone for good? Yes, I promise. Good, because I thought my heart was going to explode. Mine too, baby. Mine too. All clear. Everybody okay? Yeah. Did you know this person? No. Never saw him before. He looked like a transient. You seen him before? I, I'm new here. And you are, ma'am? She's my cousin. Sam. From Miami. This number is my direct line. You got a problem, you call. Thanks. Evening, ladies. Kids. Hmm. 
Look, he won't be back. Billy is scared shitless of cops. He didn't seem scared. I'm giving you some of my clothes so you look presentable when you get to your sister's. I cannot thank you enough for everything you've done for me. Why does Cherry have to leave? Um, Cherry usually doesn't stay places too long. A change will do her good. It, it did you good, right? Yeah, I did. I am so sorry. Don't, Please. don't apologize for him. No, I'm apologizing for me. I'm so sorry for bringing you into all this, all this shit, all, all this. And I was being sincere when I said I appreciated you giving me a home because, honest to God, I have never had one before. It was nice. It was really nice. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I will wait for you in the car. Excuse me, sir. Hey. Hey. What's up? I'm taking Cherry to the bus station. Uh, maybe you can come by for lunch and we can talk then. Okay. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay. <laughs> I miss you too. The sheriff came. What? Yeah. Cherry's gangster boyfriend just showed up. Whatever. Over. We just took her to the bus station. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. What? Are you okay? I am fine. I will tell you later. So you're fine? It's a long story. Let's eat. Then mom was like Gandalf and said, you shall not enter. <laughs> You're stupid. But yeah, mom was gangsta. I'm so proud of her. I just feel awful for Cherry. She must be devastated. Yeah? Yeah. It might be good for you. counseling or therapy or whatever it takes, I'm willing to do that, baby. I'm willing to do whatever you need. I am exhausted, Mom. First the thing with Cherry and Billy, then you. I don't know what I need. Okay, okay, it doesn't matter. Because we're going to figure it out together. Who the hell is that? Walt, don't answer it. Hey, it's Cherry. Cherry? Ah, 
Knock, knock, motherfuckers. I'm sorry, Clarice. It's nothing personal. Now move it. Now! Hey! Move! We go into your ball. No, 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 no. It's Saturday. The vault is closed, you asshole. No shit. That's why we going today. All right, all right. Just leave my family out of this. Hey, 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 hey. You can't stay the fuck calm. I put a bullet in your mama. Don't want y'all growing up like Auntie Blossom without no mama now. You can't sit by your mama. Come here, baby. Your kids can handle this. You need to let them go. Okay. Calm your fucking family, man. If you hurt my family, I will kill you. If you want everyone to live, you will calm everyone the fuck down. All right, all right, all right, all right. Everybody relax, okay? I'll do whatever you want. Yeah, you is. But you won't be sorry. Oh. No! What's the matter, football stud? Ain't gonna fight back? Stop! Stop! You shut the fuck up! Or Uncle Billy's gonna cut out your tongues! Okay, it's gonna be okay. Trust me. You have to trust me. Hey! Let's just get the money and fucking go. Enough of these games. You don't fucking tell me what to do, bitch! Everyone stay quiet, okay? You're gonna take this tape, and you're gonna tie your kids' hands behind their back. Got it? Come on. Come on. We on a schedule. Tell your family goodbye. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. Shut up! Well, let's move! Move! Oh. Bitch! Come on, man. Don't get any ideas. In the car! Get it! He's a fighter, you lucky dog. The fuck, man? What you bring her into this shit for, huh? Unhappy husband, has a girlfriend. Unhappy at work, robs his own business. Wants to skip town. Man, ain't nobody gonna believe that shit, man. It's a diversion, Walt. They don't have to. By the time they figure out it wasn't you, we halfway out the country. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll do whatever you say. Good. Or else your wife, your kids, and your girlfriend gonna be dead. All right, man, just get the gun out of my face. All right, look. In and out. No problems. you how to play go fish everyone keep their mouths shut why to get paid why us oh yeah um we got to you through Walt yeah because we knew how vulnerable you are I was you know what? I actually kind of liked you, Clarice. I mean, no one had ever cared for me before quite like you. So, you know, it almost made me think twice about doing all of this, but, you know, gotta eat! <laughs>
You can have the money. All of it. Just let us go, please. We are getting the money with or without you. You're an asshole! That's right. Give me attitude, give me lip, and I will cut you up. Do you understand? You leave them alone. You are not in charge anymore. If I hear any screams, I will make you bleed. What? What? The knife? Oh. What the? You bitch! Be cool. Gentlemen, Sheriff Clay, license and registration, please. Oh, 
Game over. I don't think so. Bitch. I don't fucking know. Come on! Where's your knife at? If I had it, I'd do it myself. Jesus Christ, I can't tear this shit with my hands. Ah! I'm gonna kill you, Clarice! Hey! Goddamn bitch. hey! Don't leave me! What did you do with my money? If you shoot me, you have no idea where I hid the money, right? Where is it? Show me, Walt, and I'll give you the money. Get! Let's go! Oh, my God, Walt! Where is my money? Give me the keys so you can't drive away with you them. You goddamn bitch, give me my money! Give me the keys first! Get! Uh, Come on, get! Uh, Where my money? It's in the toy chest. I'm getting myself. Shoot me. <laughs> Try me. if I didn't do this, okay? But I, I meant everything that I said to you. No one has ever cared for me before. No one has ever given me a home. And it, is, it really meant something to me. Please. It didn't stop you from trying to kill my family. For money. Look. <laughs> you can still help me. No. I'm not in the cherry business anymore. Nothing personal. <laughs> Oh my god, Walt! Give me my goddamn gun! You let my daughter go. Give me the gun, the keys, or I slice her ass up! Buy 
You have to stay positive. Always. That's what I'm learning from you, Clarice. Can we get a welcome for Christina? Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Christina, why don't you intro yourself and tell us a little bit about why you're here? It's Chris, eh? Okay. And why I got to share? You gonna make me? No. Mm -hmm. You trying to embarrass me in front of everybody, right? Hmm? Who the hell are you to tell me what to do? I am Clarice Spencer. And I just had a man and a woman try to kill me and my family. And I fought back hard. And I protected mine. So either you sit your ass down and participate, or I will carry you out of here myself. As I said, welcome to our group. Today we're going to talk about hope. Why don't you tell us how we can bring some hope back into your life? Hello guys.
अरे अंगड़ेगा Gifting one lakh rupees to proves he was very happy, but Ajis broke our card. 